Hey, what's up everyone? In this new tutorial, I am going to show you how to use the relay module. We will be able to control this lamp from the serial monitor. If we send the message on, the lamp turns on. And if we send off, it turns off. So before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so that you don't miss my next videos. And let's jump right into it. So these are called relays and we use them as an electronically operated switch to turn on and off some devices that works with a high voltage like 220 volts. This is a single relay and this is a two relay module that comes with two relays to control two devices. Let's start with this one which is a single relay. Basically we have to connect these pins to the ESP32 board and the other side, we connect it to the high voltage device and the power supply. Then we can activate or deactivate the relay, which will connect or disconnect these two leads. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to hook it up to the ESP32 board. Here we have three pins. This one is labeled minus, which goes to the GND of the ESP32 board. The middle leg is the VCC, goes to the 5 volt pin and that will power up the module. Then to control the relay, we have the signal pin. I'm gonna hook it up to the GPIO pin number two, but you could use any of the other digital pins. For example, if we use digital write high, which sends a voltage to this pin, our relay is gonna be activated and it will turn on the lamp from the other side. The same thing, we could use low to turn it off. But here we have different options. So let's see how to hook up the other side of the relay module. As you can see, we have three leads. The middle one is labeled C and it's the common lead. Then you have two options. You could use the normally open circuit, which is normally open. And then if we use digital write high, which activates the relay, the normally open circuit becomes closed and that connects these two wires to turn the lamp on. You simply need to cut one of the wires and control the connection from here using the relay. By the way, I have to warn you, we're going to deal with a high voltage supply, which could lead to injury or even death. That's why you have to be careful. In some cases, you could use the normally closed circuit by connecting this uh, wire to the normally closed and it is exactly the opposite. The circuit is going to be closed by default. And once you send the voltage to the signal pin, the normally closed circuit is going to be open and the lamp turns off. Let's start by connecting the relay module to the ESP32 board. For that, you will need few female to female jumper wires. And let's start by connecting the uh, minus pin, which is this one. You have to hook it up to the G and D pin of the ESP32 board. I'm going to use this one on top. It is labeled G and D. The middle leg is the VCC, which goes to the 5 volt pin. And finally, the signal pin. Let's hook it up to one of the GPIO pins. I will use the pin number 2. At this point, I'm not going to add the high voltage device. To the other side because we can check if the relay is working we have a built-in led that turns on when we activate the relay and it turns off when we deactivate it so let's plug in the usb cable of the esp32 board and let's open up the arduino ide first i'm going to create a variable for the pen using int i'm going to call it relay pen we have used the GPIO pin number 2. Then under the setup function, let's add the pin mode. We have to add the pin relay pin and the output keyword. And let's make a simple blink sketch. We are going to activate and deactivate the relay each two seconds. So if you haven't watched my video about the blink sketch, 
and how to use the ESP32 microcontroller with the Arduino IDE. Make sure to watch the tutorial. The link is going to be under the description. So to turn on the lamp, we use digital write. This takes the relay pin and the high keyboard. Then we wait for two seconds using delay, 2000, because this function takes the number of milliseconds. Then we turn it off using digital write, relay pin, then low. Finally, we have to add delay, two seconds, because it's a loop function, it is called over and over again. Before we test our code, you have to select the board. I'm using a Note MCU32S and the port of the USB cable. Then let's hit upload. So here we are missing L. It is digital right. And let's hit upload again. And if you get the message connecting, you have to hold down the boot key. And let's look at the relay. We have this LED that turns on and off which is basically connecting and disconnecting uh, the two leads of the normally open circuit or normally closed. Now let's connect the other side, but you have to be careful. We are going to deal with a high voltage. So here we have our lamp and I've already cut one of the wires. Let's connect one of the leads to the normally open and the other one to the common. And I'm going to turn on the switch, which is on the other side. And there you go, the lamp turns on and off each two seconds. Before I finish this video, let's update the code. We are going to control the lamp from the serial monitor. So let's open up the Arduino IDE. And I highly recommend you to watch my video about the serial monitor. The link is going to be under the description. The same thing, we have to use this pin as an output. Then we use serial dot begin to begin the serial monitor. And this takes the baud rate 115 to 100. Then under the loop function, instead of turning the lamp on and off, let's add if serial dot available to check if we have a message from the serial monitor. In such case, we can read it and put it inside the string. I'm going to call it CMD. And to read the message, we use serial dot read string. And then we can check if the message CMD equals the string on. We activate the relay using digital write and the high keyword. But if we get the message off using else if CMD equals off. We deactivate the relay using digital write, relay pin, and low. You see, it is almost the same code of controlling the LED. We have only changed the name of the pin. It is called relay pin. Now let's upload this code using the upload button. Then let's open up the serial monitor. First, make sure to select the right board rate, which is 115 to 100. And make sure that the option no line ending is set. And let's try with on and hit enter. And there you go, the lamp turns on. Let's use off. And yep, it is working. So I think that's all for this video. I hope you like it. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next one.